Hey guys, this is Sean with Lightning Vapes. Today we're going to be rebuilding the Avocado 24. Uh, now this is one of my favorite Genesis style atomizers. Uh, you get a fantastic flavor off of it, great warmth, great production. All around, this is an excellent piece of hardware. It's uh, It's got a few little quirks, but once you uh, once you figure out how to uh, to build and wick it properly, you will not be disappointed. Uh, let's get into some of the things we're going to need be, uh, before we get started. Okay, we're going to be using some 26, uh, 36 Canthal uh, fused Clapton. Uh, from the Complete Builders Toolkit, we'll be using some ceramic tweezers from that same toolkit. Got our trusty flush wire cutters, uh, Universal Tools quill jig with a 3mm bit, uh, cotton shears, using some uh, cotton bacon for wicking, and uh, the Quillmaster 521 tab. Uh, you can find all these products linked in the uh, description. Uh, you can use code LV. One five uh, to get fifteen percent off of your first order. Okay, that should be about it. Let's go ahead and dive down into the atomizer. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed this onto the Quillmaster uh, five two one tab. Uh, just to save some time, I've already pre-built some uh, some Clapton coils over here. I'm going to use the uh, the included Allen wrench and uh, go ahead and install these just like you would on any other velocity style deck. Okay, that looks pretty clean. Uh, the lead that's that's wrapping under is uh, not obstructing the wicking channel. That's good. We're just about ready. Uh, yep, looks to me like we're just about ready to wick. Let's go ahead and give this a fire, make sure that there's no hot spots. All right, and those look fantastic. Now, the really fun part, and I'm not just saying that, <laughs> wicking. Right, wicking this device gets a little bit goofy, and I'm about to show you why. Okay, so from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, bend your wick down, kind of like that, just to get kind of an idea, a rough idea of where that wick is going to sit. You do want your uh, wick to hang down to the very bottom of that channel. Looks like right about there. Oops, yeah, there. Looks like right about there is probably where it's gonna hang. So I'm gonna keep my uh, my shears on the cotton. Snip. Same thing here. Okay, now from here, you wanna fan your cotton vertically. Just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to cut from the top end diagonally towards the center. Okay, now it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, that's 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 pretty darn good. What that's going to do is, uh, one, it's going to allow for more juice, uh, but two, uh, it's going to allow uh, the wick not to choke the wicking channels, or rather the wicking channels is not to choke the uh, the wick. It'll allow the wick to saturate properly, and thus you'll, you'll make sure that every time uh, you get a good, uh, nice vape and no, uh, no dry hits. Uh, so the goofiness, this is where the goofiness comes in. Uh, for whatever reason, they decided to make it so that to get this apart, first you remove the bottom center pin. There's the bottom center pin extender. And there's the bottom center pin. Now, if you're uh, careful and graceful, you can grab this metal ring up here with the, uh, with the rubber and also grab the bottom base and gently unscrew. 
Um, you could you could pull the wick into the wicking channels without doing this, uh, but it, it's a huge pain, and frankly, in my opinion, not worth it. It's easier just to remove the uh, the, the, the top deck section. And just kind of pull these through. So we're gonna grab our ceramic tweezers, grab a point of the cotton, kind of stuff it down, and pull. Okay, and if it's not too stubborn, it should look something like that. Uh, at this point, it doesn't hurt to get a little bit of the juice that you're going to be using uh, to go ahead and uh, you know, wet the inner wall so that the uh, wick has something to stick to. Uh, when you screw this back together, the wick might want to try to get wrapped around the threads here in this in the uh, in the center, and that's that's no good. So I'm just going to get a little bit of juice in there. take this glass section off and put it on the top section. Now it's at this point, uh, if you like, you can go ahead, pull your wick out, be on that ring. If you have any excess, Feel free to uh, trim it off. Just be careful not to cut that little silicone ring if uh, if it's if it's stuck to the bottom like mine is right there. Okay, we should be good. All right, so now with the sidewall kind of wet, let's go ahead and kind of push the wick against that side, get it clear of that center uh, threaded cylinder right there. And that looks pretty darn good. So we can take our uh, our bottom section. Screw that back on, and we can see that the cotton, for the most part, is, uh, is staying put. Not spinning around. We can reinsert our uh, center pin. Nice and tight, and finally, the center pin adjustment. All right, so now we have everything back together. I've gone ahead and re, uh, reinstalled the Avocado 24 on top of the, uh, the Coilmaster uh, 521 tab. Uh, it's at this point, if you like, you can go ahead and fluff up uh, your wicks a little bit, get them just about where you think they're gonna be. And then we'll go ahead and prime, go ahead and prime the wick. I'm using some uh, Strawberry Stratus from our Max VG line. Okay, so now that those wicks are nice and primed, uh, the last step is to take the uh, the included Allen wrench. Go ahead and make uh, just just make some space here, make some uh, somewhere for the air to escape. Try to get this in as clearly as I can. Here, let's start with the, the front side first. So we'll kind of slip our Allen wrench down in there, push the wick up against the uh, the velocity style posts. We'll see we have just a little bit of uh, space there that the uh, Allen wrench can kind of fall into. Depending on how thickly, uh, how, how, how thick your wick is, you may have to do this uh, every, every now and then. Um, but after you get the hang of it and it's wicked uh, properly and optimally, uh, you'll only have to do this adjustment the, uh, the first time. Okay, that looks pretty good. We've got uh, somewhere for the air to, uh, to escape and more juice to, uh, to flow right in there. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Make sure to line your uh, your air flow up with the coils inside. We're back. Hang out at uh, 0.25 ohms, 75 watts. If you guys notice that you're getting a little bit too much gurgling, say the the uh, the, the vacuum that you're creating when you're when you're inhaling draws the liquid to the surface, you're getting a little bit too much liquid. Uh, you can feel free to kind of just close off one of the uh, of the channels there on each side of the wick. 
on, on, on each each on each coil. You can feel free to close off like one. Okay, another caution, uh, word of caution. Don't tip this on its side. <laughs> Keep this upright at all times. Genesis Atomizers, that's their one drawback, is if you're not careful, they will leak everywhere. So, always keep it upright. Let's uh, let's give this a rip. I'm going to crank it up to 80 watts. That's delicious. That's delicious. I miss the flavor from uh, <laughs> from Jenny's so bad. Let's go ahead and crank it up to 100 watts. Yeah, for this build, I think somewhere between 80 and 100 watts is uh, is definitely that that little magical spot. 100 watts is a little bit warm for me. For some of you guys, you might like it, but uh, I think 90 watts would probably be a, probably a good good watch for this build. Not even terrible at 75, 80. But uh, anyway, there we go. Uh, definitely no no wicking issues, no leaking, no gurgling. There's a little bit of excess juice sitting there on top of that deck, but that's kind of to be expected. It's not very much. You might be able to soak up a little bit, a bit of it, but even if I get really close here, and just do a manual uh, manual focus. You can barely barely see it. So, uh, anyway, that's been my tutorial on the Avocado 24. Uh, again, all the products you can find here will be linked in the description. Uh, use code LV15 to get 15% off your first order. And, uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. As always, keep calm. And vape on. Take care.